Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be your next 48. So whenever you watch this reading, it's going to be within the next 48. It could be with within the week. You know how time is. So remember, flip-flop the roles, reverse them. Not every card, not every message, not every storyline is going to resonate. Only take what resonates with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Holy Spirit, orchestrate these readings. Return to sender, any and all negativity. And know if the next woman against me shall prosper. Protect my readings. Protect my channel. Protect the messages. Protect my viewers. And show me clear on this messages from Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for their next 48. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, ancestors. Okay. What's going on? I'm going to get the energy surrounding you within the next 48 hours. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Please, Holy Spirit. Okay, we have a time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. So it's the time to give rather than take, okay? You could be giving for the holidays. Um, maybe you want someone to give more to you. Maybe you've been putting in 100% and now you want to go 50-50. You want somebody to show you, prove to you, express to you that they're in it just as much as you are. Could be your friend, family, lover, coworker, job, whatever it is. Or maybe it's your person of interest who needs to give rather than take someone in your energy or someone in their energy. All right, what's going on for Capricorn? Okay, so you're very close to achieving your goal. So within the next 48 hours, you're going to get even closer to achieving your goal. You're going to feel it. You're going to be able to see it, okay? This goal that you're trying to achieve, you're very close. And your hard work is paying off. This is your energy right here. No moon in Capricorn. Okay? Your hard work is paying off. You're going to be able to feel that and see that because you're going to be even more close to achieving your goal. So whatever this is, the time to give rather than take. Um, that may just be what resonates or maybe your hard work is paying off. That may be the only thing that resonates. You're very close to achieving your goal. But that may be the only thing that resonates. Okay? Whatever it is that resonates, only take that. Okay? Because anything else that comes out is for somebody else if it don't resonate. Okay? The answers you need are coming as well. So you're very close to achieving your goal and your hard work is paying off. And you're going to be receiving answers to questions as well. The answers you need are coming and conclusions are definitely within reach. So you're getting answers and coming up to conclusions. This is a very good time for you. Okay, I was going to say Aquarius, but what came out was Virgo, Gemini, and Capricorn. Okay, and then I see uh, something about an eclipse. I think there's a something about Sagittarius. So maybe Sagittarius could be in your chart. You could be Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp. All right, what's the energy surrounding Capricorn in the next 48 hours, please, Holy Spirit? the energy surrounding Capricorn. I keep hearing Aquarius. So you could be Sagittarius Capricorn cusp or Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Alright. What's the energy surrounding Capricorn in the next 48 hours, please, Holy Spirit? Okay, we have very soon. Yes, you got communication is key. You're getting communication. Your hard work is paying off. Conclusions are within reach and we have very soon. Okay, Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, the, things are wrapping up. Things are coming full circle for you very soon. All right? So if you're not in a relationship, you will be soon. If you are in a relationship, okay, you're going to, there are going to be some conclusions, maybe going to the next level. All right, we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Maybe you and your partner are going out of town, or maybe you and your family are going out of town, just disconnecting from the world. Okay, we have the hell. We have reconciliation at the bottom, but then we also have separation as well. Some of you may be reconciling, some of you may not. Okay, the separation could be this retreat. You're retreating away from this person. I just see maybe you had to separate from one person so you can reconcile with another person they had to separate from 
someone so they can reconcile with you, whatever it is, okay? But we do have a retreat. That's the biggest energy that I see. A time to disconnect from the world. Anything else for Capricorn? What's the energy surrounding Capricorn within the next 48 hours? Okay, love yourself first, Capricorn. Love yourself first. Maybe this is what retreat is. Retreat, pull your energy back. Love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So just show more respect for yourself, okay? Whether you're in front of people or whether you're alone, just have more respect for yourself, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Leo. You showed up in a um, Leo's reading as well. Angels, ancestors, do you have anything for Capricorn for the next 48? What do you have for Capricorn in their next 48, please? Okay. In the near future. Okay, in the near future. So things aren't going to be taking so long anymore. Things are coming full circle, like I said, very soon came in the near future as well so things are wrapping up i feel like things are starting to come to an end come to a close finally you're getting reciprocity finally getting conclusions finally think things are coming very soon then we have in the near future anything else for capricorn your hard work is paying off as well conclusions are within reach okay your ancestors and angels said listen to your intuition okay you got some things coming to you in the near future very soon. So clearly decide what you want. Anything else for Capricorn, please, Holy Spirit? Okay, you guys got the Six of Swords. Some travel movement. Um, clearing the air. I hear you could be clearing the air with someone. Finally clearing the air with your mom or dad or finally clearing the air with your friend or brother, sister or your lover, whoever it is. I just get you're clearing the air, having that conversation, okay? you. I see you guys, you guys, you guys could be going out of town. This does say retreat, okay? Could be going out of town with the Libra, okay? There's something that was was not fair, there's something that was not fair. There's something that someone did on purpose and it was not fair to you at all. Okay. It could have been a Leo, Libra, Aquarius. What is this? Okay, somebody could have had a baby on you. Or somebody could have chose someone else over you, had a child with them. Uh, that didn't work out, and now they want to come back to you. There's something about a baby, I, I, I feel. There's something about a baby or something about a Leo, okay? And you're finally clearing the air or finally talking about it. Maybe this is you going out of town to give birth or going somewhere, going, like, you don't, I don't know if you just don't want anyone to know you're pregnant or maybe this is what happened in the past or for your person, Okay. Not everybody has that storyline. Clarify the Six of Swords for Capricorn. The Sun card came out. Leo came out in your reading and you came out in Leo's reading. So there may be some messages in there for you. Got the Ace of Cups with the Six of Swords. I see you meeting someone while you're out of town. I see you meeting someone when things finally start settling down for you. You're not confused. You're not hurt because the Six of Swords is no longer hurt, no longer in pain, no longer stressed about things six of swords is like a healing card moving forward moving on passing the test six of swords is kind of like the six of wands and victory finally not stuck so i see new love a child because the ace of cups could be a child new love a child or something that makes you happy finally coming into your life finally that you're able to move forward could be a sagittarius with the temperance card you're being blessed with peace you're being blessed with prosperity and abundance. You're being blessed with emotional fulfillment. So your cup is going to run over whatever that looks like. 
your cup running over could be whatever makes you happy and fulfilled and content. Anything else? We do have love yourself first as well. We have retreat and love yourself first. You're going on a retreat to love yourself. Going out of town to just for a vacation, going to the spa, going to go get a massage. Okay, we got the page of cups. There's a water sign who has emotions for you. They want to heal this with you. They could be an Aquarius with the star card, renewed hope and faith. So I, I see that every time you do something to show that you love yourself, something happens. You get you get blessed with something. Um, someone finds interest with you. Someone, someone, you know, you get blessed with money. I just see like every time you love yourself or do, do something for yourself, you get blessed. We got the lover's card as well. Got Aquarius, Gemini coming out. There's a connection here with the water sign, Aquarius, or Gemini. This Aquarius could have Gemini and the water in their chart. This Gemini could have Aquarius and water in their chart, or any of those three. It's new love here with the Ace of Cups. Anything else for Capricorn? Okay, we got the Five of Cups, okay? no longer crying over spilled milk there's a new opportunity here with money but i see like i got the ten of swords there's something that's going on with you financially or in regard to your stability clarify the ten of swords for capricorn maybe you could have got a divorce the king of pentacles yeah this is you your energy taurus virgo you capricorn I see the Queen of Cups as well. I see this Ten of Swords could have been you had to go to therapy. Like you had to take each sword out one by one by yourself. And every time you did, you you got more money. You you boosted um your finances got boosted or something like that. It was it was hard. It was hard for you to do this. Okay. I feel like all these things that you've been doing with the Ten of Swords, like, it's nothing you wanted to do ever. You hate doing it. Finally, you're getting reciprocity. Finally, you're starting to like it. Finally, you're starting to love it. Because you started loving yourself. I just feel like things have changed. Okay? Anything else? What's going on for Capricorn? The Tower card. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. I see you could be in a relationship. The Three of Cups showed itself. And then the Six of Pentacles. Giving each... Okay, you could, you could have... Uh, somebody's trying to get you for child support or you're trying to get your baby daddy on child support. They gonna get his ass. I'm not saying that in a mean, negative, vindictive way. I'm just saying, like, in the most loving, positive way. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. The king, I know that's the Queen of Swords. I've seen it. Okay, we got the King and the Queen of Swords, a pair. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Six of Swords. Oh, I mean, Six of Cups. I see six, six. Okay, Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. That's three sixes. Six weeks, six months, six days, six years. With the magician card you manifested this someone could be controlling this whole situation too though this earth sign it could be you controlling this whole thing or needing to gain control over it you could be dealing with the gemini strongly okay what's what's the meaning of this message why are we here not a cups it's about love okay why are we here nine of wands okay it's you what i'm seeing is like you have a tendency to give love and then pull back give love and then pull back okay i see I have a better dynamic if you're gonna love don't be too afraid just be prepared you know don't love with boundaries uh well not don't love with boundaries that's not what i mean set healthy boundaries but don't limit your heart okay so the more self-love you have for yourself, 
the less guarded you have to be because your heart is going to always lead you in the right direction with the self-love and self-respect that you have for yourself. You're not going to get played. You're not going to get taken advantage of because your self-love is kind of like a shield. It protects you. It it gives you intuitive messages on, no, nah, they not, they, they trying to play me or no, nah, they try, they not reciprocating what I'm putting in. No, nah, you know, you'll be able to tell. You will. You'll be able to tell. So you have retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. Love yourself first. That's what we've been talking about. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So in the near future, there are some things coming in. It could be this relationship and this um, promotion or uh, financial breakthrough with your job. So listen to your intuition. Okay, conclusions are within reach. Give me a message to close this reading for Capricorn. Please, Holy Spirit. Okay. Feather, think first before you judge. Okay, this could be you. You could have been real judgmental. I don't know why. Think first before you judge. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, 26. Breaks down to an eight. Feather. Okay, I'm getting that scenario of which one is heavier. A pound, one pound of feathers or one pound of bricks. They both weigh the same. Okay, so think first before you judge. Did you commit to lifting up one of your sisters only to drop her down into the blaze? Examine the situation, Capricorn. Is your judgment justified? Or is society tricking you into your stance? After all, it does have a habit of making you believe that other girls are your competition. Or other guys are your competition. Or whatever mix. Okay? It makes you think that they must behave perfectly at all times. Step back and take the time to figure it out, Capricorn. It's not always clear at first. Instead of acting rashly, think first before you judge. Okay? That's all I have for you, my loves. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me a love donation. You can book a personal reading with me next time I go live. You can get a $15 live personal reading. Um, a live personal reading for $15. Y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. Until I see you next time, check out all the collectives. Check out all the lives, all the all signs readings. Check out all your other readings. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.